What is going on everybody? I'm Noah from TechnoBuffalo.com and uh, this unboxing was doomed as an unboxing from the start. I mean, you know, when you get a phone shipped to you in a box that just says number 13 on it. I actually like the number 13, but a lot of people look at it as an omen. Anyway, I shot the video and uh, then the files would not import to my computer for editing. The uh, files were corrupted apparently. So in the meantime, I uh, played around with the phone some, and now it's not an unboxing, it's a first hands-on. It's, at any rate, it's the uh, Samsung Galaxy Prevail for Boost Mobile. And um, issues with the unboxing video notwithstanding, I'm still kind of psyched about this phone because its service is dirt cheap, or at least as cheap as uh, smartphone plans get right now. It's on Boost Mobile, it's a Froyo Android device, Android 2.2, 2.2.2 to be specific. Um, and uh, the phone itself is $179.99. It will be when it comes out uh, later this month. Uh, late April availability through Boost Mobile Online and then sometime in May in the stores. Uh, but we got one early, hence the uh, lucky number 13 box. Uh, so $179.99, no contract. Uh, you have to pay tax, but that's it. And then 50 bucks a month for unlimited voice and data. And then uh, it's also on the kind of neat sounding but unfortunately named shrinkage plan <clears throat> uh, on Boost Mobile, which basically the deal is if you pay your bill on time six months, uh, it doesn't have to be six months in a row, just if you make six on-time payments, they knock five bucks off of your monthly plan, and they'll do that up to three times. So if you make 18 payments on time, uh, in a year and a half, which is a long time, but in a year and a half you could be down to paying 35 bucks a month for unlimited voice and data. Uh, 50 bucks a month is already, you know, like $30 less than um, uh, what T-Mobile's doing. Uh, you know, basically I think it's around, I'll double check this, but I think it's around $30 less than the cheapest unlimited plan or close to unlimited. T-Mobile for 80 bucks is 1,500 minutes a month, not full unlimited. But, um, you know, 50 bucks a month, way cheaper than what you're going to pay on the big four carriers from Nationwide unlimited voice and data, uh, but then you get down to 35, which again, takes you a year and a half to get to, that's, that's a ways out. But over the course of a two-year contract, you could save, you know, 50 bucks, $30 a month versus $8 a month, so $30 savings a month would be $360 a year, $720 over a two-year contract, but then also that could decrease as you go on. So worth looking into anyway, um, and it's a full-on Android phone with the market. It's got Android 2.2. Uh, with access to the Android market, so um, you know you can definitely use it as a real Android phone, not kind of a you know Metro PCS has an LTE phone out, but it's not a full-on smartphone that kind of thing. Anyway, the phone itself, you know, it's definitely not uh, high-end, but for some people it'll be just fine. 3.2 inch display. It is a uh, 320 by 480 resolution. This is running an 800 megahertz Qualcomm processor. I've been playing around with a little with the phone this afternoon and you know it's snappy enough it works fine um, we'll take a quick tour around the phone you've got your it's multi-touch uh, it's got you know Android voice search and everything true hoop blog no oh, I have true who not true hoop true hoop blog Cool. <laughs> Call Old Log Theater. No. Cancel. Let's do it the old-fashioned way. Oh, I was on it anyway. Uh, I use True Hoop Blog um, and not uh, Techno Buffalo's site for these Android phones because for some reason I can't get out of mobile mode sometimes in Techno Buffalo. And I wanted to show you, you know, the phone loading up a, a regular web page. It's on Wi-Fi right now. Uh, Sprint's 3G service is what powers this thing, and it was working fine for me before. You've got multi-touch capabilities, pinch and zoom. It's it's responsive enough. You know, it works well. It's a smaller screen, but everything seems to work fine. Um, it's got an accelerometer, so you can go portrait and landscape. Uh, the phone itself, on the bottom, you've got four capacitive touch buttons. On the left spine, you've got a rocker switch, a lanyard port. Shout out to Aaron Baker, lanyard port. Uh, micro SD card slot comes with a two gigabyte card pre-installed. On the right side, you've got a, a camera button, hardware button for the camera. On the top, three and a half millimeter headphone jack, power on off lock switch. On the bottom, micro USB. Uh, I believe in the retail packaging, you'll get you know the USB cable as well as the AC adapter, but I don't know. That's what came with lucky number 13. 
Um, and then on the back, it's a two megapixel camera, uh, no flash, I believe it's fixed focus, it shoots video clips, but pretty low resolution. So, you know, for me, that would be the biggest drawback, I think, is um, the camera not being so good, because I use my camera a lot these days on my phone. But, you know, you can listen to music on it, uh, you can rock the Android, the whole thing. Uh, you can put up to, I believe, a 32 gigabyte card in there if you want. And uh, you know it's Android, so I'm sure, some, I'm sure somebody's going to figure out how to route this thing. Uh, you also get, uh, it's got GPS built in, and you get Telnav, from what the press release said. You get Telnav Unlimited for free. Um, it's got some stuff, there's Telnav. It's got some stuff built in. You've got Think, Think Free Office. Uh, you've got the Scavenger app. Uh, of course, Google Navigation. You've got Layer. Um, augmented reality browser so you know you can do some things with it and um, if you're in the market for low cost and especially if you don't want to be tied down to a contract it's definitely an interesting uh, interesting option here uh, I was looking before go back here go back here to uh, yeah I was looking for John for Lakers video before so let's do John unboxing the uh, robot vacuum here. So the YouTube app, you can rotate and it goes into full screen mode. You can hit the high quality button. Again, this is connected to Wi-Fi, so it's faster. When I was trying to do it before on, on the, uh-oh, crash. Well, that's it. <laughs> uh, let's get this playing here. Mopping robot, come on now. I want to hear John complain about how he doesn't like to do housework. What's up, everyone? John Rettinger from Techno Buffalo here. There are many things in this world that I love, candy and technology among them, but there are also equally as many things that I don't like, and one of those very high on the list is cleaning. Yeah, yeah, yeah. As my um, now, just to show you, the YouTube app works well. You can watch YouTube videos, no problem. You're not going to have flash in this thing. Personally, I don't care. Um, it's, uh, actually, are you? I don't think you're going to have flash. I don't, I've never really had a phone that, uh, did flash well anyway. But let's see, maybe you do. Maybe I'm wrong. Uh, the phone does have, uh, swipe pre-installed, which is neat. I'm not used to using swipe, but I was messing around with it before. And uh, I like it better than I did when it first came out. And obviously, it's become quite popular. But um, again, you know, an interesting option uh, if Sprint service works well where you are. Yeah, so uh, there you go. But I'm sure there's a way to shoehorn Flash onto here if you really want to. Anyway, if it works well where you are and you don't mind the lower quality camera, the 2 megapixel with the, uh, the low res video option, it doesn't even tell you when you, you know, when you go in there, you've got video quality high or low MMS and that's it so um, and then when you switch to the camera mode yeah there isn't even an option it's you can do geotagging uh, but it's a two megapixel camera uh, so if you can live with that you know and you really want a smartphone the fifty dollar unlimited thing definitely is is compelling to me anyway um, then again, there's a reason that I pay out the nose to carry around, uh, you know, a top of the line smartphone <laughs> instead of this. So it's one thing for me to say it. It's another thing to put my, my, my money where my mouth is. I can't even spit the words out. And would I actually switch to, uh, the Galaxy Prevail on Boost? I don't know. But I'm excited to find out. I'm going to check it out, report back to you. There'll be much more on the Galaxy Prevail and, of course, all those fancy high-end phones over on technobuffalo.com. So until then, thanks to the folks at Samsung for loaning us the Prevail to check out. Again, the Galaxy Prevail launches in late April on Boost. It's an Android 2.2 smartphone, $179 plus tax, no contract, $50 a month, unlimited shrinkage. So you can shrink that bill down to uh, $35 a month, but it'll take you at least 18 months to do that. That's a long way away. A lot can change in that much time. Until next time, I'm Noah. Thanks for watching. See you later.